Please tell me your stupid love story. Bring me back to the good old days. Hey, Robin. So that's the easy winner for best How I Met Your Mother moment on How I Met Your Father. But did you catch every crossover, Easter egg, and future reveal in season one? Let's go through all the references right now, starting with Jesse and Sid's apartment. Wow, love your place. Thanks, it was a total score. We got it from this old married couple who posted it on the Wesleyan alumni group. We even gotten to leave their swords. First of all, this is clearly the former home of Ted, Marshall, Lily, and at one point, Robin. Also, the listing was posted by an old married couple, so that means the guys have been subletting from Marshall and Lily. You know, don't get me wrong, I love this apartment. How do you say goodbye to so many special memories? Cook it up! We have to move! And even though the apartment has a fresh coat of paint, it still has Ted and Marshall's swords, first showcased in season one, episode eight of How I Met Your Mother, The Duel. Moving on, in episode 9 of the new series, I got an interview later to be an associate produce buyer for Goliath Market Corporate Office. We don't know yet if Goliath is a subsidiary of Goliath National Bank, but series co-creator Elizabeth Berger previously told TV Line that, quote, nothing we do in that respect is accidental. Now for some cameos. The two-part season finale of How I Met Your Father kicked off with Kyle MacLachlan as the captain. He's in bed with someone who's not his wife. Captain! Enter Laura Bell Bundy as Robin's one-time morning news co-anchor Becky. <laughs> She was first introduced in How I Met Your Mother Season 6, Episode 4, and later got involved with the captain. Permission to explain myself. Denied! So that moment led to the captain and Becky's divorce proceedings, where the captain's attorney says, My client is offering the townhouse on East 63rd Street, the oceanfront estate in Far Hampton, and this bottle of 1831 single malt Glen McKenna. We previously saw that estate in How I Met Your Mother season nine. The captain is also willing to part with a bottle of 1831 single malt Glen McKenna, the very same brand of scotch whiskey referenced throughout the original series. Also during the divorce proceedings, we get this from the captain. I haven't hurt this bad since someone stole that pineapple off my front doorstep and not five. He's referring to the famed pineapple incident of 2005. We already got an answer though in a deleted scene from season nine, episode 20, where Ted finally recalled how he retrieved the infamous tropical fruit. He drunkenly grabbed it from outside the captain's townhouse. Now, if Becky hadn't discovered the captain's affair and decided to divorce him, she wouldn't have sunk in his prized boats, including one in Australia that employed marine biologist Ian, Sophie's Tinder date from episode one. Suddenly, Ian was out of a job and back in New York, just in time to reunite with Sophie in the season one How I Met Your Father finale. But before that, we finally got a return trip to McLaren's, which is still downstairs from Jesse and Sid's apartment. Sophie finally visits in the finale, where she runs into Joe Neves, reprising his role as Carl the bartender. And more importantly, Kobe Smulders as Robin Sparkles. Oh wait, Sherbatsky. So anyway, Future Ted mentioned Robin's brief career as a bullfighter in season seven, episode 12. She was even briefly a bullfighter. That's a funny story. I'll get to that one later. A deleted scene from the original series finale, set in the year 2020, clarifies that Robin had been gored by a bull during a news segment, which has now clearly gone viral. I was in Spain and we were shooting this segment on bullfighting. My producer thought it would be super cute if I got into the ring and tried it. I remember the, the story you did on the bullfighters where you actually got in the ring and got gored, gored by, by a bull. bull. But the bigger moment comes when Robin says this. Sophie, I have been married, I've been single, I have been everything in between. And the only decisions I regret making are the ones I made out of fear. Now, that advice doesn't just relate to Sophie's Jesse situation, but also to Robin's own love story. In the year 2022, her marriage to Barney has been over for six years, and she's still eight years away from Ted showing up with a blue French horn. Speaking of Ted, here's a How I Met Your Mother pilot reference. I once had a guy say, I love you on our first date. I think I'm in love with you. What? <laughs> what? What? Dude sounds like a real piece of work. You have no idea. <laughs> but a good piece of work. And there you have it, kids. The story of how How I Met Your Father referenced How I Met Your Mother in season one. What were your favorite Easter eggs so far? Let us know in the comments. For TVLine.com, I'm Keisha Hatchett.